Hey everyone, I wanted to make a quick video and check on you, see how you're doing with your winter sewing, and just talk to you just a little bit about opening your containers. I think there has been just a little bit of confusion about when you should open your containers, and so I wanted to address that because that could be the difference between you having success and not having success. So as soon as you see green in the container, that doesn't mean open it, okay? I know we all get super, super excited about what's in there, but it does have to go through the process of growing. Just like any other uh, plant, like if you're starting seeds inside, it has to develop into a mature plant to be able to, or at least a mature seedling, mature -er, adolescent maybe. Um, before we put it in the garden. And so we just wanna make sure that we do give it enough time. So the rule of thumb is after your last frost, you want to watch the weather. Make sure that you don't have any really cold nights. I always look to see, do we have 50 degree nights that are going to happen in the next 10 days? And if we don't after my last frost, which would be for me, I always look at April 15th, and if there are no freezing temperatures and it looks like it's going to be pretty warm, I will go ahead and really start thinking about planting. We wanna just wait for that soil to warm. So I, I just hope that clears it up for you. Don't open the container until you are closer to past your last frost, first of all, and then you want to open it up during the day, let it get used to being open, and then you're gonna close it at night. I do that for two days. And then the third day, I just leave it open. And I just leave them open nonstop until I am ready to plant. I don't take them out of the container until I'm literally putting them in the ground. How do you know when you need to water your containers? I can lift it up and it feels super light and it's hot. It's going to be 84 degrees here today. So I just decided I'm going to give all of my containers a drink of water. It rained, it rained a couple of days ago and it's 90% chance tomorrow, but still. Uh, and so I wanna make sure that I am giving them the best chance and I need to stay on the water. So double check your water. Remember, as the temperature is warm, check it every day. If you need to check it more than once a day, do that. I'm gonna show you how I water my containers in an effort to keep them, their moisture great. It's almost time to open the containers and I am so excited. So let me go get the hose. Change my setting to mist, as you can see right there. It's just a fine mist. And I'm just gonna stand over top. I like to get the sides really well. Okay, done and done. So that should last them for today, absolutely. And then um, I'm going to check them after it's gonna rain tomorrow, but that doesn't mean it's going to get in, in every container. So I'm, I'm still checking every single day, especially now that the weather is warming. You should do the same, okay? I wanted to share something really exciting with you. So I don't know if I've shared with you guys, but my word of the year is bold. And I decided that I was just gonna do things that set my heart on fire, no matter what anybody thought this year. And I was going to go big, I was going to be bold. And my passion is for teaching. I've always wanted to be a teacher. And so you guys actually encouraged me by your comments. I just want you to know this, you've made a difference in my life because of your comments, you've encouraged me to chase a dream that I thought was gone. I always wanted to be a teacher. I always did. And you guys, the way that you in, you say how much you love the way that I teach, it, it just makes my heart wanna burst with happiness, okay? So I got bold and I decided to put together a course for you on seed starting the very basics step-by-step step, from the very beginning, picking out our seeds, learning about the seeds, what kind of soil, what kind of materials, what all the things. It is a personal class 
on seed starting all the way through to hardening them off and getting them out the door and ready to plant. And I have just wrapped up my last lesson. That's where I've been this week. So I'm sorry I haven't posted any videos. I, it's not that I haven't thought about you, but I have been recording and it makes me so excited. So I am going to launch that course. All I'm doing is editing it now and then I'm going to have it ready. I believe I'm going to sell it for $49 and it is a full, I mean, hours and hours of lessons that you can go back and rewatch. We're talking about tips and tricks, what to look for, all the things, like all the things. Uh, you guys have influenced this and it's just the power of your words. I want you to know they've made a difference in my life and I'm not going to go all mushy gushy, but I just want to thank you. So if you are interested in taking this course, it's once you have it, once you've bought it, it's yours for your life. Um, you can watch it whenever you want. I am so excited. Anyway, I wanted to make sure you are not opening your containers ahead of time with the winter sewing. I also wanted to tell you about my seed starting workshop or boot camp or course, whatever you want to call it. And then I also am putting together, I have so many ideas. I'm putting together a whole bunch of courses and our community. Been doing some research and I am so excited that we are going to get to do this and we get to hang out more and talk about the things. And I hope you will consider joining that as well. That will be, I'm hoping in the next week or two. Okay. So I want you all to know how much I appreciate you and I hope you have a chance to go out and get your hands dirty. Go play in the garden. Plan your garden. Hint, hint, that's going to be a course. Planning your garden. I would just love to know, are any of you interested in any of these kind of things? Like, so exciting. I thank you so much and I hope you have a great day. Take care.